Just a quick update on my Honda CRF 250L rally. Uh, just some new, um, put on a new exhaust and a new EJK uh, electronic jet kit. Uh, in the video, I talk about putting the jet kit on. One thing I can advise, if, if you watch other videos, people can get their hands in there to, to uh, change the, uh, the controls over. I recommend uh, taking the gas tank right off and going top down. Uh, much more, uh, much more easier than doing that. Uh, so this is a quick video, and don't forget, uh, I also do uh, cooking videos with my daughter. They'll be uh, it's on the same channel as my uh, bike videos. If you want to check those out. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh no, here she is, right here. This is my daughter. I do my cooking with. Hi. This is Emily, and then uh, over there on this side, there's our cat sleeping. What is he, what is he, okay, what is it is called. So anyway, enjoy the video. <laughs> okay, so an update for uh, my CRF. Uh, 250 rally for 2021. What a, I've done a few more updates on it. I put in the the Showray uh, lithium battery, lithium, uh, smaller one, lighter one, uh, fit right in. Uh, things I've done already done to it. I got the Zeta uh, front sprocket guard on there. I put a Sunstar rear sprocket, 42 tooth, and this year I'm going to put the uh, smaller front sprocket on. So I got a bigger on the rear, smaller on the front. Uh, IMS foot pegs. I had those on last year. Going around this side, I put on the uh, MF FMF uh, Power Core 4 uh, tailpipe. Um, I'd start it up for you, but um, there's a bolt here which I sheared off, so I have to wait for one of these to come in. I can tighten it up, and then uh, I have I did have it running. It sounds pretty good actually. Um, EJK, um, like, like the electronic uh, jet kit. Uh, if anyone is going to put these, one of these in, um, you watch the YouTube video. Some guys can stick their hands in there and just do the disconnecting. I took the tank off and all the side panels off way easier um, because it is tricky to get in there. Uh, so that was I put that on this year. I've got the, the trigger um, brake pedal. It moves there and it's got the uh, little wire there. So, in case she gets ripped off by a tree or something. Uh, I put a spring in the uh, front fork, a uh, race tech uh, front fork spring. And I put a uh, race tech shock on the back, or spring, whatever, in the back there if you can see it. Um, I also put on a smaller clutch lever, smaller front brake lever, Renthal bars. Uh, the mirrors that uh, fold in. Uh, I got Rox risers on there. You can see the Rox risers in here. Um, what else do I have on here? Like, there's all my stickers: Race Tech, Renthal, FMF, Rox, and Hammerhead. That's the. I do have a a shifter too. I had to put the the stock one back on because the other one um, I bent it right in. You can see all the marks on here. Um, so I have to get a vise and bend it back out and I'll put the uh, aftermarket one back on. Um, I also put on the little turn signals, little LED turn signals. Uh, I think they look better than the stock ones. Um, and I believe that, that is it. So there's, uh, there's my update for 2021. So hopefully this makes the bike a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, that's it. So just one more thing to do. I just got to put the uh, smaller front sprocket on, and then that'll be it for all the modifications for this bike. Oh, and I put on Dunlop D606 tires. Uh, these are the ones a little bit wider than the stock ones. Um, if you do put these ones on, uh, just make sure you get your, your clearances right. You can see where I chewed right through the mud flap. And I'll stick my finger around the back there. You see, it goes right through. See, <laughs> I just uh, burned right through it. Um, so just make sure these knobbies are a little bit higher, obviously, and the tire being wider than the stock one. I forget exactly what size it is, but it's a little bit wider. Uh, so that's it. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I got the uh, Bark Buster Jet uh, hand guards. These are really good. And that's it. Oh yeah, and the uh, seat concept seat, I put that on probably the first year I bought it. Makes it, it's a it's a good difference because I ride on the road a little bit too, so it's a nice seat.
um, and that's it. So uh, when I get the uh, front sprocket on and the uh, and my exhaust fixed up, I'll start it up for you, and uh, we'll do like a little quick update. All right. Safe riding.